Well, good morning there, Chubs. Well, it's morning for me. I don't know about you guys. But anyway, we're going to be hitting up those Exocraft missions that uh, appeared last time because we've now got ourselves an Exocraft technician guy. Ah, just got to get my bearings. Now, where did I put him? I put him on this mezzanine down here. Yeah, you've got a ladder, mate. Don't you worry. You can use that. You know, you're not getting a lift, though. All right, hello there, chap. How are you? Let's uh, jump on over into game. Corporal Mab has claimed since a lot. Hold on. I just heard. I just heard. A, sorry, mate. You're going to have to hold on. I just heard myself a uh, exotic land. It makes a different sound. Look at that. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Red, black and gold. That's quite nice. I'm not really overly a fan of the ones with the long noses on them. That's quite cute, though. It's nearly my logo colours. I was half tempted to run and grab that. But there we go. That's quite nice. I mean, if you do want to get this ship, I have heard it come in a few times now. There you go. I'll put the codes... Hmm. Let's see if we can make it night time or something. There we go. Now you can see the code. There's the code. Fudge and heck. Ah! Okay, that'll do. I think. Yeah, there you go. There's the code in the bottom left corner. This is a Euclid. Right, people? There we go. Lovely jubbly. If that does, if you do like it, it's yours. Right, anyway, back to where we were. Corporal Mad. What have you got? Okay, a sense of dread within their eyes. Of the paranoia that has sustained them across the stars. Oh, great. Who have I got unemployed? Is this going to be an issue? Have I got to send them to HR? Come on. Shake the paranoia, mate. Interloper. I'll do as promised. Build a geo bay from the schematic, and my exocraft shall be yours. Unworthy though you may be. <laughs> well, I did just threaten to take him to HR. Go. Oh. No, no, excuse me. I must ensure this location is defendable, should my people try to find me. Well, they're not going to find you on this mezzanine, mate. You're fine. All right? No one looks down here. The technician asked me to construct a Roma Geo Bay. Okay. All right. Grow, of course. Lovely jubbly. Right. So he's just given me the instructions for a Geo Bay. However, I've got one. I've got one right there. Look. <laughs> there it is. I've got one. I've got, I've got a Geo Bay, mate. Freaking, it's, it's right there. Boom. Done. Okay. Yeah. I've done that. I've just got to wait for the, you know, the whole game to catch up with me. Return to the technician. Yes. Hello, technician. Interloper. Have you constructed the Roma Bay? Yes, I have. Boom. Good. Here is a blueprint for an exocraft radar. This augmentation will allow you to discover buildings and signals from afar. But Interloper, you know that this disgusts me, that you lack so much knowledge. Mate, I'd already built your freaking Roma Bay before... Oh, mate. Okay, right. So we've got blueprints for that. I've got the chromatic metal. I've got microprocessors. Microprocessors you can buy at any galactic trade terminal. Chromatic metal, you dig out the ground as copper and you refine it into chromatic metal. Do not delay. Use you, you, your refiner for that. Yeah, all right, mate. Yeah, okay, I got you. Yeah, I can do it. I can do it. All right, let's go. Let's go check my exocraft. See if I've got the old schematic in here. I don't. I haven't installed that technology. Right. Well, let's uh, let's get that in then. Microprocessor. Done. There we go. Now I'm not going to go ahead of the mission marker too much, as much as possible, just in case there's new players out there trying to follow this guide. I say guide. We had so many bugs last time in the first episode. I don't think I can call it a guide. It is for that my people shall exterminate me. And you can only blabber, gra to work, to work, interloper. Mate, don't you worry about me. You just worry about you, okay? I am freaking awesome. That's why they call me the captain. Well, if you watched last episode, I'm not that awesome. Okay. Who can say what life might have lived? What life might have lived if there was no born to explore these worlds? Uh, yeah, mate. All right, I, I'd nod and yeah, that, that whatever. Hmm. 
Return to the technician. Why couldn't it have just given me the next sentence? Once we have the Exocraft radar, we can map this planet. Are you ready for what happens next? Yes, mate, it's in. Mad waits my expect expecting me to announce my success. There we go. Your timing is fortuitous, traveller. Take these blueprints. Lovely jubbly. Sweet. Okay, well, I've already got the pugnium. Pugnium, you get that from killing sentinels. The copper, you dig out the ground. Um, oh, you should already have, you should already know how to do copper and chromatic metal if you've been doing the normal tutorial. Okay, all right, fine. Yeah, don't you worry. I, I doubt they're going to find you. Okay. Use the Exocraft radar. Okay, yeah. They will be substance and create uh, an Exocraft boost. Okay. All right, brilliant. All right. Let's go do that then. Chop a pow. Let me in. Boom! We're on our way. Here we go. Meow, meow, meow. How far is it, actually? Fudge sake. I just want to get my bloody icon on the icon. Two minutes and five. I can deal with that. You know what? Through the power of editing, though, I will reconvene when I get there, people. This could be a treacherous journey across this lava-ridden landscape. Oh, John, something to note. If you don't like being in the cockpit view, you can change the view by going into your quick menu that's down on the D-pad on console, and you hit this video camera type looking thing. All right? So, here you go. I'll go to bird's eye view again. Uh-oh. Huh? I've gone off track. And R1 is actually boost on the old, old console as well. And there's even a jump button. I don't know how you make vehicles jump, but you can. Okay, hey, got it. Lovely job, lad. We're on our way. Kind of. Okay, if you fall into a freaking hole like I just did. I mean, look at that. I'm completely wedged. All right. Get out of your hole on foot. Go to said quick menu and go to this one this time. Go to your exocrafts and you can resummon it. And that gets it out of any holes. Okay, okay. Right, piddly pokey. Where's that freaking marker gone? Um, what the flying fudge? I've lost my marker. All right, I'll let you know when I get there, people. This is this is craziness. Hey, it says I'm twelve seconds away. Oh, there it is. We have arrived, located. Right, we've got no weapons installed in this. So, but I'm here, and I need to get gold apparently. All right. Well, there's dirty bronze in that one. What's in that one? Silver. Mango gold. Nitrogen. And thermetic condensate. All right. Well, I guess we're doing this then. Have it large, mate. Okay, right. Well, the sentinels don't seem too bothered, do they? All right, fine. Well, that's that done, then. I guess I'll go back to base now, yeah? Am I actually on the right mission? Yeah. Destroy depots or attack the sentinels. Yeah. Well, um, that didn't actually happen, did it? Oh, is it because I'm in the wrong mode or something? Is that why they're not attacking me? Difficulty normal. There we go. Right, let's go back down there and just shoot stuff. Uh, I think I'm done anyway. I mean, I don't know why it's... Oh, here we go. Gather gold. All right, well, what we've got is we've actually got mango gold, which I just picked up, which I think is inside my... Ex it's not inside my exo craft. Well, where did the mango gold go? Yeah. I just got a load of mango... Oh, here we go. It's down the bottom here. I've got a gold nugget there. I thought, well, that's Herox. Where's the mango gold? I, I blew up mango gold. Granite. 
great. It's got to be somewhere inside of all this mess that I call my inventory. Mango Gold, where the fudge are you? I can't even remember what Mango Gold looks like when it's at home. It's been so long since I've done this. I wish there was a search feature so you could actually type in what you're after. I mean, that's that's not it. That's Herox. Nah. That is really weird. It couldn't have put it in my starship. And why would it have? It should have gone to my exocraft. It should be in here. Oh, no. Don't say it went to my freighter. It couldn't have gone to my freighter. Well, there we go. Mango gold. What's it doing all the way up there? Sometimes this game is freaking odd. Oh, n now I'm... Okay, all right, fine. Right, I'll stick that in there. That turns into gold. Lovely and jubbly. I guess. Are we done? Return to the technician. All right, I'll see you back at my technician, people. There was nothing to tell you to refine your mango gold, your chutney, back. What was there? There was nothing. I can't see my blinking base marker. Or my ship marker. Oh, there we go. I think I'm going the right way. But I got to, I'm just looking at the radial at the top of the screen. And there's my ship over there. Oh, there you go. Now I can see it. It was below the, um, the horizon. There you go. I'll see you back there. Okay, here we go. Yeah. I'm back. Sweet. Right. Let's go and see my technician. Yes, I'm using a ladder. Uh -huh. Cup of tea time. That's a glorious cup of tea. The captain's brew. 07. Yes, got my own brew of tea, people. You can get it at cherazina.co.uk or com, one or the other. Hello, hand in gold. There you go. Good. I shall use it to forge exocraft boosters for future expeditions. Great. I need carbon nanotubes. Okay. Sweet. Oh, you've committed crimes. No wonder you're nervous. You, I, I knew you were nervous. I didn't realise you'd committed crimes. They have sent me an encrypted transmission. You use the Ectocraft Brucher to reach it before my brethren inevitably delete it. Okay, all right. Looks like we've got a race against time then, people. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to hit accept. Yeah. Right. We've got the exocraft. Ah, uh, get off the ladder. Go on. Oh, yeah. Where's my exocraft? There it is. Right, well, I need carbon nanotubes. So let's just make two carbon nanotubes quickly. Okay, we've got four of them. And let's get in here. Oh, fudge and heck. They're already wanting me to do it, are they? Okay, right. Um, where's the booster? Booster, booster. I don't see it in here. Do you see it in here? I don't see it in here. All right, well, let's, uh, let's just go in. I don't see it. I don't see any boosters in here. I see suspension. I see everything. I don't see any boosters. Right. Well... We're going this way. I mean, I can boost anyway. Maybe that's it. Maybe I've already got it. It's going to take me five minutes to get there. And I've only got six minutes and 51 seconds. Holy fudge, this is going to be tight. Especially if I fall in a hole. Like I did last time. Okay. Wish me luck. They say the quickest way to get somewhere is a straight line. But my straight line took me over a freaking volcano. So I'm having to go around the volcano. You know when um, I was doing this yesterday and I said this really isn't going to be a good planet for exocrafts? I was freaking right. Okay, so there's another blinking volcano there. You can see that I've got 2 minutes 35 left. 
And on the clock, give me the clock, five minutes, 12. I'm actually making good time at the moment, people. As long as I don't mess up massively, I should be okay. Yeah, so it looks like I already had the booster installed. So he gave me technology that the Exocraft already had as default. Said fuel required. Luckily, it's only carbon. So there we go. Oh, my days. So that still didn't refuel me, did it? That was weird. Yeah. Oh, it takes a lot of freaking carbon. Fun times. And I've lost my marker now. The marker's vanished. Oh, there it is. Okay, chums, I think we're about there. We are there. We've arrived. Okay, dude, I've made it. And I've made it in good time. Where's the door? Right. Tidy ho and away I go. I'm in. Excuse me, I've got an important mission. Loading transmission, decrypting subspace frequency. Error! Interception! Witness the price of your heresy, fugitive of the Viking. Know that there is no sky in which we cannot find you, no system to which you might flee unscathed. Hide! Then it's in the depths of this galaxy, for we are patient. Know that your spawn wept like mewling geck as we cut them down. That we killed your consort as they fled, leaving the others behind to suffer. Well shall you ever find peace knowing these things. End transmission. This mission is not, this uh, message is not what I expected. The technician told me to retrieve a transmission from their family, but this, I must return and decide what to do. Before the transmission closes, I pull the Exocraft mining laser blueprint from the network. Ha ha! Yeah! Boom! It's weird that... Yeah, okay, we'll have this anyway. I digress. All right, that's not a door. This is... Aha! So when it comes to my Exocraft now, it's weird that there is no boost. That's That's strange. And we've got the mining laser now, so I can get that installed. Okay, I'm sure he gave me a B-class boost module. Is that it? There we go, he did give me a freaking boost module. It wasn't a blueprint, it, it was a freaking module. Ah, uh, it's because I've got so many bits of technology in here. Oh, well, I could have made that a lot freaking easier for me, couldn't I? What's the, what the budge? Okay, that goes over there. What else have I got? Have we got anything else that I can put in here? No, no. No, it'd be nice if the actual ones for Exocrafts had little pictures of like a car on or something. And the ones with, for multi-tools, a picture of a multi-tool. And maybe the ones for starships, a little picture of a freaking starship in the top corner or something. You know, the opposite corner from where the big A is, a picture of a starship or a picture of a multi-tool or something. Hyperdrive, pulse engine, you see what I mean? Because they've all got the same bloody picture on them. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's the, that's, that's wild. Yeah. Oh, God. This... Right. Okay. I digress. Anyway, back to base. That's probably me being a complete Muppet, as well as the game not being as helpful as it could be. Now let's see my boosters. I could have done it in double quick time, people. But I was panicking, because I knew that the timer had already started. Okay, people. This thing drains fuel like nobody's business, and it's as slow as shite, even with those boost modules. That extra boost modules made very little difference, to be honest. But I've used up all of my freaking carbon, all of my condensed carbon, and now I'm burning through oxygen like no tomorrow. So, word to the wise, get yourself a shed load, and I'm talking a shed load of oxygen, carbon, and condensed carbon before you set out on these missions in this frickin' Roma. Because that's insane. Insane, I tell thee. Hello. My preparations are almost complete. Soon I purge myself of my old life, my old attachments, to commit fully to what I must become. But even if I will remember nothing, I must know. I must know, Traveller, have you retrieved the transmission? I'm going to... It's not my business. I shouldn't have read the message. 
I should just give him the message, pretend I don't know nothing, but just let him know that I'm here if he needs anything, if he needs someone to talk to. They're frenzied at my approach, excited. Whatever this transmission might contain, whatever system it has been sent from, it would seem to matter a great deal to the Viking. Say that you have. The technician tells me they are going to clean their mind to prepare for their holy task. Before they remove all forts, they wish to know what happened to their family. I must know, traveller. Tell me, my consort said. Tell me, my spawn, please. I have waited so long. The technician... Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell him the freaking truth. Sweet. Truth. Yeah, family is dead. I... I right, leave me, traveller. We Viking prepare for death our whole lives, but this who am I now will die with them, lost in the obliteration of time and memory. Poor guy. Okay. Yeah, mate. It's uh it's not good. Okay. He's ready already, he got over that quick. Um well, I might need to get myself a shed load of oxygen or freaking carbon before I do anything else. So I'm just going to go shoot a load of trees. I'll be back in a bit. You know what? I think I just installed a mining laser, didn't I? Inside of the Exocraft. I did. I did, I did. I'm going to use the mining laser to get the trees. Yeah. If I need to. All right. Come on, then. Let's do it. Let's do the mission. I'm reborn without attachment. I can focus now. Focus on what I must do. Gra, you will require a mining laser. Done. In the days to come, construct one. And I craft you a Nomad Exocraft. Okay, brilliant. All right, cool. The Nomad will be a little bit better, actually. Sweet. I've already done it. I've done. It's in. I've done that. I've done that. Right, we'll just wait for the mission to catch up. Once he realises that the mining laser is installed. It won't take long. You're talking a matter of, you know... There we go. This one lift music tune. Okay, come on. Down, 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 There we go. Told you. Sweet. Have you been... Yes, I have. Yeah, done it before we had our last conversation, mate. Okay, right. There we go. Right. Arafinium. Fudge and heck. All right, well, paraffinium can only be found on star bramble planets. Uh, okay, cool. Okay, cool, yeah, cool, yeah, cool, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, I, I, go on then, whatever. Sweet. Well, we've got two missions now. Right. Okay. So... He wants me to put down one of these. Okay, now we know we need paraffinium and also metal plating to install it. However, if I press triangle, which on my top menu over there, you can see that it's for toggling wire. You can see now it's toggled to a wire. If I press that same button again, the toggle to wire, and R2, which is the place button at the same time, boom, I glitched it in. It's um, it's a basic building technique, that. Okay. So that just got me what I needed in. Without having to go all the way over to you know, Star Bramble Planet and all that sort of jazz. All right. Hopefully that's registered, that I've now got a Nomad. Yeah. And guess what? I probably haven't got no oxygen now because I've fed it all into my blinking car. Ah, get off the ladder! All right, I'm going to regret building this place here, aren't I? Have you brought the magnetised ferrite? Uh, I think I have got the magnetised ferrite on me. There you go. Sweet. Okay, he's giving me a radar. Okay, call you. And am I to build that inside of that exocraft over there? Sweet. Okay. Yeah. I didn't read much of that, I have to be honest. Right, so if I go over to my Exocraft now, I should be able to put the radar inside of this one, right? And what was it? The next level one, this one here. Yeah. All of those you should know how to make or purchase. You know what? I've got one more there, haven't I? 
I'm going for it. I'm sticking that one in too. Right. That's a freaking little radar dish. Done. I'm just going to wait for the mission to catch up now. I'll raid this while I'm waiting. Whoop! Well, that was worth it. Hello! The blueprints for your weapon upgrades are ready to install. Yes! Go! Cool. Sweet. That closes it. Okay. Okay. Alright, fine. Use your exocraft radar to locate this planet's abandoned structures. Alright. Not a problem. I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nanite clusters. Alright, fine. Will do. Um, I don't know how I'm going to give him nanite clusters. Ah, uh, look, we got given an exocraft cannon module. Yeah, I've committed to climbing a ladder now. Right, here we go. Let's uh, head on over here then. Hold on. It says that I can just return back to him. I must have the nanite clusters then. Um, I don't see that module that he just gave me. Oh, this is fun, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Well, I haven't got an actual cannon installed, so... That's a laser. There's a cannon. There you are. Alright, well, it looks like I can go back to him. I didn't even have to do the scanner. Alright, fine. Have you obtained the nanite clusters? I'm guessing so then, mate. Yeah. There you go. Sweet. There's a strange look behind their dark eyes, okay. He's going a little bit weird, is he? Traveller, my work is complete. I have overridden the ley lines, charged the holy data. They've relayed to me a monolith, a tomb of the final prophecy. If you go there before the ley lines close off, you, you and I alone will uncover the truth behind my species. The reason behind why Nal died. A monolith has been activated, if I reach it quickly enough. Okay. All right. Let's go do this, then. Okay, he's given me, he's given me another boost module. Okay, right, I've got 40, 47 minutes to get there. How far away is this? Two hours? Holy mackerel, you're having a freaking laugh, mate. Okay, and exosuit. I've got to install that boost module wherever it might freaking be. There it is. Let's stick that on there. Let's put that there. Two hours? Oh, you're having a laugh. I don't want to spend two hours driving all the way over there. And I don't think I'm going to make it because it's only given me, what? 45 freaking minutes. I can only but hope that that time goes down drastically, or else I'm never going to make it. Never in a friggin' million Jeffreys. Right, I'm going to freaking cheat. I'm going to try and cheat. Let's see. I mean, what, what's the worst that can happen? Get me out of my freaking car! Okay, right. I'm locked onto that. It says seven hours away. I'm going to call in my ship. We're going to cheat. Right. When I take off in my ship, I'm going to keep as low to the ground as possible. Low to the ground as possible. I don't care. Don't fly up through the atmosphere. Stay on the planet. Zoom all the way over here. Meow. Look how far I would have had to have gone. This would have taken me a month for Sundays. Okay. And on this planet, that would have not been fun. I'm going to try and avoid trees if I can, because I'm actually taking damage, but if I hit a couple, I'm not too bothered. Holy mackerel. I'm not going to cut this footage, just so you can see what I'm up to. But look at that. The timer's not even freaking moving. Oh, my God. It really is two hours away. Ow! Okay. 
It's an insurance claim, isn't it? What would you up to in your ship? Um, flying through trees. Okay, um, I got a little bit high there. I want to stay low. Zoom. It's like Top Gun, isn't it? Dun 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 dun. Oh no, no, that's Mission Impossible. Same guy. Ah, fudge. Yeah. Okay, right. Now I think we're seeing a proper visual. No, we're not seeing a proper visual representation of time. It just jumped from nine minutes back up to ten. <sighs> Freaking air biscuits. I actually think this might have been further than two hours. In that little vehicle, anyway. I don't think I would have ever have made it. And this is what I mean by how the, some of these missions can be almost impossible inside of the Exocraft. I mean, on water planets, on planets with water and rivers and stuff, well, not rivers, because you don't get rivers. But, you know, I've, I've had it where I've been the Roma and the actual destination has been the opposite side of a massive frickin' lake. Yeah, you've got to drive the Roma across the bottom of an ocean. It, it's almost impossible. So, yeah, be careful what planet you do the Exocraft missions on. You want something flat with no water if you're in the Roma. This is insane. This would have took me all freaking day and I probably would have failed. The timer is still going at the bottom, which is a good sign. OK. So the mission is still active right now. Holy moly, this is insane. OK, that timer just disappeared. It's still there. It just keeps changing to the forged documents all the time, which was from the uh, mission that we did the other day, which is like, well, well come on, I've done that mission. Yeah, there's a lot of um, I think Hello Games needs to revisit every single mission, give it a little bit of polish and think, uh, hold on. This is a little bit insane. I mean, this is stupidly insane. There's no way I would have wanted to do this mission legit, all right? There's no radio in the freaking car or entertainment system, nothing. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to make my own lift music last a lot freaking longer, wouldn't I? Two hours longer? Oh my god. Even this is a little bit boring flying there. Holy moly, people. Yeah. Yeah, I've had people hit me up about these these uh, missions saying I've been stuck on them for days. I can't get them to work. Well, cheat. You know, if you haven't got the resources, pop into creative mode. Get the resources that way. If you, if you want to get to this location in under two hours, fly there. But do it cleverly. Don't leave the planet's atmosphere. Do what I'm doing now. Yeah, it's bonkers, I know, but it, it, it's better than driving there. Oh, God, I've got another four minutes. All right, I, I'll save you some of the pain. Okay, yeah, right, chums, I'm, I'm nearer. I'm a lot nearer. So when this gets to about a minute in ship flight time, then I'm going to land. And I'm going to drive there inside of the Exocraft. So the game thinks I might have done the whole thing in the Exocraft, you know? So you can see there down at the bottom, it's still clocking up that I've got 39 minutes left to do this. There's no way I would have driven all the way over here in that time. Not with the amount of holes in the ground and volcanoes and everything else that this planet has to has to offer or to throw at me. So you know what, I'm glad that I've took it on myself to cut a corner. Yeah, I mean, there's there's nothing... The Exocraft technician said I can't fly halfway there. I mean, I say halfway. 99% of the way there. All right, you know what? I'm going to get to 30 seconds. Because uh, seconds in an Exocraft converts to minutes. So, it, you know, you still might find that I'm 30 minutes away when I actually land there. All right. Hopefully it's all freaking downhill. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Oh my days. Big crash freighter there. I saw a couple of frame drops, didn't you? Alright, I'm going to land on top of this mountain. 
This feels like as good a place as any. Okay, right. Then all I'm going to do is go into here, into that, make sure it's facing the right way. Boom. Okay, oh, I've driven millions of miles. Look, I've still got five minutes to go. Nyaum. I'm on my way, monolith. Don't fret. Your captain is here. Okay, cool. Slam. Now, you do carve through a lot of the landscape with these exocrafts anyway. Oh, I've only got the cannon. I haven't got the mining laser on this one. I don't know where I can shoot trees with the cannon. Oh, I can, but it's cat. I might need some fuel is what I'm thinking, though. So I'm just going to shoot a tree or two on the way there. Oh, great. I didn't think sentinels would come after you for shooting trees. I mean, look, I'm destroying landscape. They don't care about that. They care if I shoot a tree. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? All right, anyway, we've got another four minutes of driving this monstrosity across this monstrosity of a landscape. Double monstrosity! Holy fudge. I thought that was a hole, then. I'm, I'll drive there, and I'll see you when I get there, people. Yeah, I've actually installed the mining laser, so now I can hopefully mine and get some fuel because my fuel is halfway down now look it might run out before I get there like for fudge sake that's better oh great sentinels get super angry on this planet okay right another crashed freighter holy mackerel look Big crash right to there. Okay. Let's see how juicy this is. Okay. That topped the bar right up. That's not so bad. Does this work? No. I've got to get to a monolith. That is not a monolith. This is still taking me time and a half, even though I've got a massive corner. Oh, here we go. There's no way I'm driving back again. I'm going to use my ship. All right, we've arrived. Oh, looky, looky. Oh, I better not do that right now. Let's go and interact with this instead. Hello, I approach a monolith. I'm engulfed in its terrible truth. I see its words and text of a thousand tongues. In the Elphimera... What the fudge is that one? It's at home. Of countless stars. Know that I heard the word of the Atlas. Hear Herc had heard nothing. I witnessed events that occurred a millennia before my awakening. There were two brothers, Herc and Nal, basically. Nal worshipped the Atlas. Herc did not. He shunned it. I see the two Vikings standing before a red glow, asking it of the universe. Submit. In their rage, in their important jealousy, Herc struck me from the mountain and I saw the truth of what the monolith had said so this is the voice of now right now that my end would be an awakening that in this dream nothing should perish I see Gek and Korvax waiting side by side before me and before the vision ends I see a vision of something I've not seen before of something that does not belong in this place of, of hatred grief and despair of something that is yet to come submit or so it would be until the coming of the last traveller. So it would be until the destruction of realities. No, this is the final testament of Nal. I wonder if I'm the final traveller, or we are, you know? I see the end of time, the end of all things, and that the crimson light, there is a figure. It's hand held out before the entity. Now, I think he's talking about the creator of the Atlas. If you do the Remembrance Law, the actual creator puts his hand on the terminal of the Atlas before he leaves and also gives a copy of himself, which becomes Talamon on your shoulder. I see this is then it is over. The monolith has nothing more to show. Leave. 
Okay, I leave shaken by my experience. As I go, I feel something right behind me, breathing, watching. When I turn, it is gone. Well, that was fun. That was a good bit of lore, actually. That wasn't too bad. Right. Yes, yeah, so this is a Corvax system right now. Basically, I want to do a video on how to get these multi-tools. So I'm going to leave that until the next episode. Okay, so in the next episode, I'll show you what these things are all about. But yeah, you have to do a few prerequisites. You have to have done the purge. You have to have done those who have come before and the traces of metal mission. There's a lot to be done. Okay, right. I'm going to call in my ship and I'm going to fly back to my base. And yes, this time I'm going to go up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. And hopefully I'll be a lot better. Here we go then. Yeah, if you want to see me get an Atlas multi-tool, that'll be the next episode, I think, people. As long as we get all these Exocraft missions done. Boom. Up we go. That's a cut. A massive swathe of frickin' pain. Look, it's all the way over there! It's the opposite side of the planet! There's no way I would have done that! No way! In a million years would I have completed that mission in under two hours in that Exocraft. No way! Okay. Right, I'm going to land. And just so the game doesn't span her up, I'm going to put that exocraft back down there. Happy child! I'm like Superman! There you go, mission complete. I didn't cheat. I envy you, Traveller, to see the words of now themselves, Gra. Well, thank you. With this, I discover you have vindicated the actions of a thousand martyrs, Traveller. You deserve your reward. You deserve the Colossus, the largest of exocrafts in my arsenal. Use it and strike terror upon our enemies. The Viking believed that their ancestors, Herc, received the wisdom from a great monolith, initiated a war against the Sentinels, and slaying the Nal Objector. The monolith I discovered proves that this history is a lie. Now was an honoured with a vision, whilst Herc had him met with only silence, and in their jealousy Herc murdered Nal. Exactly that, mate. Yet I'm left with questions. I'm left thinking of the creatures I felt watching me. I'm left with dread. The technician offers me the Colossus Geobase schematic. There you go, coolie her. I wonder what creatures were watching me in there, huh? Okay, there we go. Colossus Geobay. I've transmitted now testament to my brethren, Traveller, blah de blah de blah. Lovely. Sweet. The only trouble is you transmitting all this stuff, you're gonna you're gonna give away your location. They are gonna freaking take you. You know what I mean? Sweet. Colossus, agree to believe the build the Colossus. Yeah. I will build it. I will build it right now. When I get off this ladder. In ah for fudge sake, get off the ladder. I'm gonna reg I think I already regret building it there. Did I put... I think I've already got the Colossus. Look, it's over there. It's just over there. I've, I've freaking done it. All right, back up we go. I built the Colossus. If you want to know how to build the Colossus, you just press up and it's right there. There's the materials you need. All right, cool, yeah. You can glitch it in, though. Sweet. Yes, I have. Done. Okay, you must strike to blah, blah, Yeah, whatever. Sweet. Okay, he's giving me the advanced laser. Okay, cool. So I've already installed all this stuff inside of the Nomad. I'm going to be low on resources now. Um, well, you can have some more of my nanites. I've got loads of nanites. Okay, all right, fine. Sweet. Yeah, I've got nanite clusters already, so it's it's going to move on. There we go. There you go, it's the nanite clusters. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Okay, lovely jubbly. I'm probably not going to bother installing those into the Colossus. I don't really like the Colossus much. It moves slow. The technician has a final reward. Acceleration module for my Nomad. Okay, accept. All right, fine. Sweet. Okay. So I need to go and swap out to my Nomad now, do I? Oh no, apparently it's all good. Apparently I'm good. But did he give me a module or did he give me a blueprint? 
it's never really 100% clear, especially if you don't read it. Okay, so what did he give me? You know what, I don't think he gave me anything. I'm seeing a new fuel system. That needs a wiring loom that I don't got. So you know what, I don't care. Right, let's go back on that. Alpha fudge. Double jump. I wish it would stop saying stuff about those bloody forged passports. Where are these forged passports? I'm going to get rid of the dang things because they're doing my nutting. Right, give me a second. Found the forged passports. Deleted them. Right, here we go. Hello there. Sweet. Cool. Continue my pilgrimage with your leave. I shall remain here and stand by your side against the enemies. Gra 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 gra. Technician offers me the final acceleration module. Take it. Sweet. Coolio. Well, thank you very much. Cool. I can get better acceleration modules, S class ones, up in stations. So he's given me like C classes and B classes. Yeah, look, he's given me another C class. Okay. Oh, great. I've got to get there in what? Eight minutes? He didn't say which, which one to use. How far away is it? 20 minutes. Yeah, not going to happen, is it? All right. Well, you know what I'm going to do then? Cheat. Come on. What? Let's get over there as quickly as possible. Red over. I think this is the same one that I got sent to on my first mission, to be honest. It is probably doable with those boosters in. Thing is, I put all the boosters in different exocrafts, didn't I? I split them out. Okay, right. We're right by it now, so let's land. Jump out. Call in an exocraft. I'll go for the Roma. Well, people, I had a phone call come in. I had a phone call. Oh, oh God. I, I went into camera mode, but... Ah, oh, yeah, I went into camera mode. And it paused it. It paused the timer. I was really worried, because that phone call was going on for a bit longer than six minutes. Okay, here we go. Come on. Yeah, so if you do need to pause, put it in camera mode. Camera mode can save your bacon. There we go. Oh yeah, let's head on in then. Zoom. Let's take that off of there. Oh, I might need that to get the um, the nanites. Okay, cool. There we go. Extract records. As I go, I think to myself how glad that I am that my technician can hack these networks. They claim they can do this a thousand times and not be caught by any authorities. I hope that my fugitive friend is right. Okay. Um, is that all I needed to do? I can't interact with it again. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, that was lovely. Right. I could drive back or I could fly back. You know what I'm going to do. I'm flying. As much as I like the Exocrafts, I think I can actually traverse quicker on foot. I mean, if you swap to something like, I don't know, the Scatter Blaster and fire off a shot, if you press Reload and Melee at the same time... Hmm, okay. Oh, sod it. You can run faster. There is a technique to run faster, but it's a bit, it's a bit buggy. Right, here we go. Let's just take on off and let's fly on back. Now, um, is that my base? It is my base. It's it's not giving me the marker for the technician. I think I've completed it then. Well, there's a colossal archive right there. Holy fudge! Okay, there is a lot of buildings on this planet. Now, I gave you the coordinates for this planet earlier, didn't I? This was actually part of one of the expeditions, though. So if you've done the expeditions, you may even have this planet on your roster anyhow. I 
and I think we're done. I don't, I don't think there's anything else to do on this. I think, I think that's it. So yeah, 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 it's gone. Well, I go talk to him anyway, and I bet he just says something like, "I'm here if you need me, traveller," or something, you know. There you go. Traveller, I've detected another location of interest. No. I, I really can't be asked, mate. You got any... Exocraft upgrades. Yeah, it's got a few in there. Pretty nice. Yeah, I could do with that, to be honest, couldn't I? You know? But, you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of done. I don't really want to go anywhere else. I've done his missions. There's no new missions there, so that's optional. Let's hit scientific research, because we had a timer on him yesterday. Let's go finish him off. I don't think my, my child experiment is working. They have not assaged my lonely list. loneliness. And now I have two consciousnesses to fear for. Okay. I'm losing myself, traveller. Take the core to a monolith. Let me interface before the atlas. I must speak. So the entity, the Corvax has no memories of our last journey with their core. Then I tried to reconnect them with the Convergence. This time they seek the Atlas. The Atlas. I do not know if the Monolith grants such an interface. Okay, well we're doing it anyway. So we're taking this to an Atlas. There we go then. At least I don't have to do this in the freaking Exocraft. Right, let's go. Where does it want me to go? Ah, oh, there you go, there's a marker. Zoom! Oh, Nelly! That was a clip and a chip. Hey, girls! I'll see you when I get there, people. Oh, great. It's an approximate location. I'm not seeing anything around. I'll just land and we'll walk there. Fun times, these missions, eh? I mean, this is all part of the tutorial. I've done it all back to front, to be honest. Really, you should kind of try and do these first. And the reason I've got everything is I, I went and unlocked it all. Oh, hold on, I got another phone call. It's okay, it was just my missus. Right, okay. She wants me to put the washing out that she's got in the washing machine. And joys of working at home. Zero, one, one, zero. Yeah, zeros and ones might not be a thing when we move to quantum computing because it can be in the state of on and off at the same time. I approach the monolith and I'm prepared to insert the callback's core. Insert core! Error, error, atlas, obey, atlas, error, error, run, error, 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 error. Life form identified, callback's echo. Purpose, servant of the traveller. Personal failure, emotional breakdown, traveller infection. Solution, terminate, insulate, insulate, protect, wipe. Rebooting, one, two, three. Has he just got to reboot? What the flying fudge? What the? I just broke the. I just broke a freaking monolith. Um. Okay, that just happened. Uh, where's my ship? We better get back then, better we? Oh, I learned some words while I'm here. All right. Oh, I learned nothing new now. Cool. I've got all words. There must have only been a handful that I didn't know. Right. I'll see you back at base. Okay, return to the scientist. I think the scientist, I think this is the last one I've got to do. All right, chap. How are you? Wake up. Little Susie, wake up. ba down, ba down. There we go. A shell roof connection. da 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 Dilly D. You all right, mate? Okay, cool. He seems okay, I hope. Perhaps we can find them a convergence cube. Oh, for fudge, really? Okay. I think I might even have a convergence cube, but if I don't have a con convergence cube, you can just buy them from these guys. You see, that? I mean, as long as you're in a callback system, you just go over to any of these, and you go to purchase, offer to trade, and look, convergence cube. I'll grab six, anyway. There you go, i get some casings too while we're at it. Yeah, whatever. I'll have them as well, thank you. And all of that. Yeah, go on, I'll just buy the whole freaking lot, mate. There you go. Happy day of trading. Okay, return to the scientist. 
Hello. Okay, that's not good. Once again, I've become aware of their isolation. There you go, there's your convergence cube. Enjoy! Forgive me for asking, Anthony. Did you know once? You seem to be familiar with these terminals. They're from my own design. Yeah, I just bought it off that guy over there. Ah, we call him Trevor. Right, there we go. Trevor sold me it. There you go. Sweet. Okay, cool. We've got we got given some blueprints I already knew. I already know these blueprints because I went to the station and bought them all on this save. Okay, I think that's done now. So we can go to the base computer archives. We can explore that quickly. Because that had a five hour counter on it or something mental, didn't it? Okay, yeah, follow coordinates. Sweet. Okay, uh, that will go off the galactic map. All right, fine. Where's my ship? Any ship? Oh, I didn't put it on that landing platform. It's over there. Please have enough jetpack fuel to make it. Yes, we can. Nice. Let's go, shippity ship. Up chow. I do like the droid wing ships. It looks very Star Wars esque, doesn't it? In a way, having a little droid sitting there. Love it. Right there, right? Yeah. Okay, and we've already got a base in the system too. Papa Chow! Oh fudge, we've got ourselves a sentinel battle. Alright, come on then. Haha, <laughs> you thought I just had one of those little foxy cannons. No, mate, I know. Right, let me deal with these and I'll be right back with you. Okay, one ship remaining. It's so hard to sh shoot the dang thing without shooting all the goody ships. There we go. Got him. Ah, I might as well go get my reward and then I'll reconvene with you. Oh, I got a new reward. 50 starships destroyed. I'm now notorious. Notorious B I G. I guess. Hello there, mate. I just spun your chair. How'd you like them apples? Yeah, that was me that did that. First thing I do, first impressions and all. You, you got, you got to do these things. You got to show some flair. It was a complete accident, to be honest. But you know, right? Request payment instead. Thank you. I mean, this freighter was an A class, thirty-four twenty. It's not bad, but it's not as good as mine. Like, no. Right. Okay, the reason I've done that is because until you actually either get rid of that battle or do whatever, you don't get given your frickin' markers, so kind of had to do it. I could have flown in the station, I could have done a reload, I could have messed around for a while. Might as well just destroy the dang thing. Come on, I want to warp. Let's go, Pulse. Zoom. I'll see you down there. Okay, right, well it sent me here. I didn't see whether it was um, the, the, the actual location or not. Yeah, go away. Okay. 300 odd use that way. Alright. Let's see if I can do that running technique thing. Oh, I can't even see what freaking... There we go. So if I shoot a load off like that, then if I press... Oh, fucking heck! Okay, I'm trying to show the viewers something. Throw a freaking cave at me. Right. So I've got to go that way. 190 odd use. So what do you do is you fire a couple of shots. And then you press the reload and the melee button at the same time. So the melee is R1. Reload is square. So reload and square. There we go. Can run like the freaking wind now. See that. Oh, I've got to go in there. All right, fine. We're already there. Let's head on in. Ah, so this is the abandoned terminal mission stuff. I, I think this used to have a separate log rather than the base computer archives. Access memory, I could be wrong. It's been years since I've done this. Attempting to read memory at la 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 la. Sweet. 
I see the sentinel swarm across and blah blah blah. Not yet. And there we go. Yeah, Leylaps does not join the others. It just stares at me. It's light shining, unaltered, unabated. It's to comfort me. I search physical cache, a terminal, blah blah blah, and I've got some technology. So I've already got Leylaps. I'll show you Leylaps if you like. Um, and here. And there he is. There you go. Hello. Sweet, there you go, Leylaps. I'm having so much fun, Telemon, not Telemon. Thank you. And Telemon is that little ball on my shoulder there. Exo. The only thing it's been stripped down to just its sub protocols. Yeah. Okay, right. Well, that's done. Right. Instantly teleport back to your a base computer. You. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Okay. Well, um, I guess what I can do is go up to the the Nexus and teleport back to my base. I'll see you back at base. Right, chums, I think when I go back to my base computer, it's going to give me a timer of like a day or something. So I'm thinking about going to my settlement and see if there's anything that I can do at the settlement. So there we go. Go to your bases and I'll just go to my settlement quickly. There's a teleporter there anyway. Right, well, we're back. Um, let me just change my mission quickly to the settlers. Let's head on over here. Let's head on in. And let's see what we've got now. New citizen request. Yes! New citizen! Authorise a mission. Deny the request. Wait, you're going on it. Okay. A group of adventure citizens wish to leave the settlement. They wish to conduct... A yeah, go for it. Yeah, have a look at local DNA. Alright. Okay, well, I don't care about debt. Right, okay, cool. 49 minutes on that one. Let's go back to my other base then. So, your bases. And let's go back there. It mentions the Overseer. Right, well, I'm back at my old base. And, uh, yeah, lovely jobs. Let's have a quick look around then, what's left for me to do here. So let's go back into the old mission log. Settlements were still waiting for something for that to happen. You know, they're out exploring. So we've got the base computer archives now. We've got nothing to do with expanding the base. We're all good. So base computer archives. Let's pop on down. Let's see what it says. I think it's going to be time gated. Oh, maybe not. Follow coordinates. Okay, I think this is just going to keep sending me now to abandoned buildings. And I'm probably going to just learn the abandoned building law. I think that is all it is. And I think there's something like about... I think about 14 that you got to go to. I think so far I've done maybe about eight. So there's still quite a lot to do there. But I think I can do that, that in my own time. And I think that gives you guys in the viewerverse enough to understand what you're doing at this point. So you know what? I think... I think we're about good. I think the next episode will be me trying to find one of those Atlas multi-tools. All right? So we'll be doing that next time. So thank you very much for watching me do some missions. I know it hasn't been the most glorious or amazing of episodes, but at least if you've been having problems with your Exocraft technician, you know you can cut some corners by flying near to the destination. Till next time. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again, people.